I recorded this twice already, but I had really strange results and the video was getting to be a bit longer than what I wanted. I just wanted a really quick thing to throw out there regarding turrets and sappers, but those the other two were going on too long, so I'm trying to do this in a more condensed version. I I had it where I just had one turret in each of these hallways configured in a different way. One was missing a barrel, one was connected and powered but switched off, the other one simply just didn't even have a conduit anywhere near it to see if those would still deter sappers. Um, but what was interestingly happening was it was still deterring sappers except this northern column. This turret, for whatever reason, even though it sees these walls, and I will also just delete these, even though it sees these walls, and I have the draw avoid grid enabled, which would ordinarily tell you where they can and can't go, as long as you see something here, it would be okay. You'll see, like, as I remove turrets and all that, it just, it changes up. Um, as long as a turret is with, as long as a wall is in within line of sight of a turret, it's covered. Sappers will avoid it. But I was having this scenario here, sappers coming in through these tiles, and I'm not entirely 100% sure why. So I added more turrets and it seems to have worked out okay. So I don't know. Interesting thing to note that even though while this is saying that it is fully covered by turrets, it doesn't necessarily mean that. But uh, this video still works though because while that was generally fixed by adding in more turrets, I have all these disconnected completely. I will turn that off so we can still see. These are all disconnected completely. They have no power. They have no way to turn on. Um, let me get in these. Uh, rebuilt here just for insurance purposes, because typically you'd have like a sheath around your colony basically, and you would have a bunch of turrets in there that are disabled, so they're not taking up power, their barrel durability doesn't matter, and sappers will just avoid that sheath entirely and go in through the more open and covered front door. But, um, well, I'll just generate a quick raid. I've got a wall set up around the very, very outer rim of the map just to ensure the sappers appear or where I want them to appear. Up here was a trouble area where they were coming in through these walls, so adding, again, adding these turrets here. Uh, that no longer happens, but I've just left it there because I'm a bit lazy to undo it. We'll have the pirate factions raid. That's the wrong one. Transport pods nearby. Oh no! That's okay. It doesn't much matter. I want specifics is what I want. Pirates, 2,000 points. Immediate attack sappers. Edge walk in. And then we'll walk in through the north because that's the only spot available. I will quickly clear out these losers when they spawn in using the clear tool. Annoyingly, the clear tool, you used to be able to just click anywhere and it would go ahead and do the clear 21 by 21, but now you actually need to click some entity. It's quite annoying. Uh, but they will come in. They're going all the way around the base. And they will try to break in through one of these walls because no turret sees those walls. And that's to be that's to be expected. That's fine. No issue there whatsoever. I will do it a few more times just so you can definitely see that that is what's happening. There we go. A literal few. And all of them should be going around to the very front of my base where it's open, ignoring the walls completely. Oh, poor Alekio. Yeah, here comes here comes greatness apparently coming into the front. All of them coming into the front currently. Nobody's going in through any of the walls. So that's working as expected. But if I go back to what I had before, I will show you the issue that I was having before when I first recorded this and why I was so confused and getting really conflicting mixed signals on my first recording of this video. Okay, turrets are all in, they are all fueled, they technically have a conduit but it's not powered as we've just seen, that doesn't really matter under ordinary circumstances, the walls within line of sight are as follows, that should be completely cleared if we go to the draw whatever, we can see that it is all still being watched by turrets so it should still function the same way, however, we will go rate right of specifics, the pirate, the 2000 point, immediate attack, sappers edge walk in, they'll be coming in from the north because the only spot to come in from, we'll see where they go. <laughs> that one's name is Poopy. <laughs> see, they're following the wall already, which is a really bad sign for whatever reason. I don't know why. I'm not sure. I don't know why this is. The turret thing still does work. But turret line of sight seems to be a little bit different. I'm not entirely sure why. So this part is a word of warning to those of you who are going through and relying on specifically draw avoid grid. Uh, this is a bit of a lie. It's a little bit misleading. The turrets don't actually apparently see this wall. I, even though it 
it really technically should. Let me turn on the uh, unlimited power so this guy turns on. Will it turn on in time? There it goes. It turns on in time. It's firing at her. She is just willfully going through this way. I don't know. So that part, typically for players, I don't think this part matters. I'm not sure what's going on with this specifically right now. That's a weird thing. Um, but those of you who are looking at this draw avoid grid and saying that, no, 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 nothing has changed. It's still the way it was. While you're correct, you're you're going about it the wrong way. Well, something is weird with this, basically. Um, you're still right. Nothing has technically changed. Unpowered turrets will still deter sappers. However, don't rely on the draw avoid grid to tell you that. You have to do real world testing. You have to actually play it out as a scenario. That goes for anybody doing technical videos out there. You have to play it out without mods. It's a ball lake. Yeah, sometimes you're going to be sitting there for hours generating stuff, hoping to finally get the thing that you're after because it's a pain in the ass to set up. You got to do it. You got to do a real world example. So world of warning to those of you who are going through doing these types of videos, um, maybe unintentionally misleading others. I don't really know where the whole thing came from, where turrets had to be powered on now to deter sappers, but that simply isn't true. We are on version 1.1.2654, compiled June 3rd, 2020. But that's, there you go. Hopefully this is a bit faster than the previous attempts. Again, those were dragging on too long. So just a quick video to let you know. If you didn't know about sappers and turrets, well, hopefully now you know. Uh, walls within line of sight of a turret. Sappers will avoid it. However, do be careful if your bedroom is within line of sight of a turret. That can really complicate things because then they'll see like, well, there is no cool path, so fuck it. And they just go right in through a turret. Um, so it can be a little bit misleading there. But otherwise, uh, yeah, if you have a lot of trouble with sappers coming through, you set up some turrets. They don't need to be powered or anything. Just set them up and make sure that the walls are within line of sight and all is good. Um, and just to clarify, line of sight, meaning that this guy can see these walls and, and like maybe this wall, but it cannot see these walls. So a sapper could still come in through that way. It does not see these walls. So if this all wasn't there, sappers could still come in this way and get into the bedroom. So that's just generally how that's working. Um, just a hopefully quick video, though, to kind of clarify things. No, nothing has changed. No, draw grids doesn't exactly tell you why nothing has changed. So kind of a kind of a twofold video for you.